should elderly people, along with masks, social distancing, other measures, take some kind of anti-aging pills, which would boost their defenses? Uh, well, um, I don't make recommendations. I'm just a PhD studying mice, but I can talk about the science. The science says that uh, if we were to reduce the age of the body, uh, it, it should function uh, like a young person. There's no reason why that shouldn't be possible. And there have been molecules, uh, one of which, for example, is called rapamycin, that in low doses uh, was shown to boost the, the older people's uh, immune system. And there are other ways of doing that. The molecule that I work on called NAD, uh, when you replenish that, uh, it's thought to improve the body's immune system and make it younger. Uh, and in fact, I work on mice, but I also work with a, a company that I co-founded uh, that is doing clinical trials across the United States uh, in more than 28 hospitals, trying to see if rejuvenating the immune system, making it younger through raising NAD, this molecule, uh, will help in um, not just eliminating, eliminating the virus, but preventing that overreaction to it. But what kind of time span are we talking about? I mean, the anti-aging supplements that you're researching, that you're promoting, which are so far not being certified as medicine, but they surely don't work overnight, right? Unlike masks or social distancing. I mean, how long before we can prove a definite connection between anti-aging supplements and human resistance to COVID? Well, uh, so most of the treatments that we have, or even the theoretical treatments, which are sold as supplements, work through mechanisms of s slowing down aging, turning on the body's natural defenses against disease, which is still a big deal. We've only been able to do that for the last 15 years in animals and in humans. We think we can do it somewhat. There's not a lot of evidence, but there's there's retrospective studies of people taking a drug, for example, called metformin for diabetes, which looks promising at slowing aging. Uh, but to work rapidly, we need something that will reverse aspects of aging. And it looks actually like drugs like rapamycin uh, and potentially these NAD boosting molecules. Uh, I mean, they won't make you look 20 tomorrow. That That's not going to happen, but they, they can target parts of the body, uh, such as the immune system, or the, the, the lining of blood vessels and, and make those cells behave as though they're young very quickly. Uh, just to give you an example, when we treat uh, mice that are old with a molecule that raises NAD, uh, just in a, in a, it was about a week uh, or two, those animals are now as fit and can run on a treadmill as far as fast and as far as a young animal. Um, we think that with COVID, we can have benefits uh, within days. That's uh, so far what the early results say. Um, ultimately, we want an age reversal injection or a pill. That's, of course, what the ultimate dream would be. Uh, we recently had a paper, um, it was on the cover of, of Nature magazine in December, that showed uh, the first evidence that you can uh, rewind the clock, the body's uh, epigenetic clock called the DNA methylation clock, sometimes known as the Horvath clock. You can rewind that back uh, just very quickly within a matter of a, a week or two as well. And that might be a permanent reset. Uh, and then you just age out again and keep doing that reset. Uh, to be fair, we did it in mice. We did it in the eye and skin. We haven't done it in the immune system, uh, but we're hoping to try that too. So 